101 to patty melts the 12 days of grilling brought to you by the Minnesota Beef Council. It is all about the burger this year. Yes, it is. Today we're focusing on the very important toppings, but move over lettuce and tomatoes. We are heading to the grill to top the burger here to show us how we welcome the chef from Golden Nugget Tavern and Grill in Minnetonka. Eli Renda Twin Cities Live. What's happening? Eli, I'm excited to nice be here. To see this you. is great. Oh my gosh, you have a gorgeous setup here at the grill. Thank you. You know, of course we love to grill the burgers, but you're grilling the toppings, right? Right. So, you know, uh, I'm from the Gold Nugget and we do a uh, the best hand patty ground beef burger in town anywhere. Wow, he's a bold man. Yeah. He's a bold wow. man. I'll, I'll take that Pepsi challenge anywhere, but uh, <laughs> you know, the beef is super important. That that makes the burger. Uh, the what bun's kind of beef very important. Do you go to for the for your burger? We use our own signature blend of chuck, sirloin, and brisket. Oh. I can't tell you how much of each, but look at but, that. But uh, we get it uh, ground specially for us for for our burgers. Um, but the, the bun, the, the beef, but the the fireworks, the exciting part is the toppings. That's yeah. where you get to play around, where you get to uh, specialize it too, or or like. Uh, Create your own. So you're grilling tomatoes here, sir. So right now uh, it's heirloom season. Yeah. So I I'm like a, I don't want to say like a surgeon, but <laughs> I see these things and I'm like I want to cut it open <laughs> and see what it looks like on the inside. How cool is that? It's like a, a exotic fruit or something. They're beautiful and so, no two look the same, which is so amazing. No, no, they're all totally different. And you know, heirloom the the word comes from the the seeds being passed down from. Yeah. From generation to generation, and, and how awesome is that? That uh, these same tomatoes are, are able to do it. I'm gonna. I want to cut this one open really bad. Okay. I want to see what it looks like on the inside. So I know. I know. Go this way. Want me to do it? We want. Yeah. That's okay. that's. For you. Don't cut your finger Which off. That's what I tell all, all rookies. Use yes. That guy. Serena, uh, she knows what she's talking about. It gets through <laughs> the skin does. better. What don't do you want cut me your finger here? off. Uh, no, we want to go about a half inch. Uh, the other. Let's go the long way. And here's the thing about heirlooms. If you get the big ones for grilling wise. They can get really watery and yeah. mushy, so yep. you want to go with uh, the, the San Marzano. They're they're the best. You can't always get those, um, but any plum style. Okay. Get a shot of that. Any plum style uh, heirloom tomatoes. They're going to be a lot meatier. So they're going to hold up a little better. And they're going to the hold grill. up better on the grill. Look they're going to take that. Charge. How do you feel about these, Eli? Look at these. That, these nice to job. I was no? nervous, so how but you did it. You want to throw these in a bowl? Then? Do these take Not a while? Not very long. Okay. So, I've, you know, for TV purposes, we slowed it down a little bit. We turned the grill down a bit, but normally I'd go really hot. Okay. Olive oil, a little bit of olive oil. How can you go wrong with uh, yeah. tomatoes yeah, and olive oil, right? We got some, a little bit of fresh oregano. Toss those up and just throw them on a hot part of the grill. Okay. And then uh, we get that going. And I was so excited about coming on Twin Cities Live <laughs> that we created a special Twin Cities Live burger. This is yes. amazing. As well, you should. So what it is is boars and cheese. I don't know if you're familiar, but uh, it's a it's a herb, uh, soft cr cream cheese. Just eat it with a spoon. A boars and Lucy wrapped in bacon. No Come way. Uh, when in doubt, I got a couple. Bacon, I made guys. one for each of you guys. So How wonderful. Nice. And we kind of went uh, BLT style or, or like BB. We got BBB. It's beef and bacon and boars and, and then summary. We got uh, some some charred uh, heirlooms on there. Oh a little bit of pesto aioli. Yeah, I so, saw that. This looks we glorious. This is, it. this is the TCL burger. So you can come in. We, we got this going in the next couple weeks. Oh, how nice. Ask for the Twin Cities Live burger. Okay, let's set this over it's, here. No, it's really good. It's really, really good. Can we play good. around with more toppings, too? I mean, you've okay. got yeah, quite Yeah, because you have so some other things that you're Moving grilling. on to the next awesome thing. Now, when, I, uh, when I'm out grilling, I got to... Uh, I got to uh, have expectations that, uh, you know, I got to come and I got I to... Gotta, Perfect. I got to perform. I got to do something great. This is one of my go-to things because it's almost indestructible. And sometimes I'm talking and I'm drinking and I'm talking and, and I don't want to burn anything. Right. And you don't. So want to these beer-soaked onions and nobody else does these. We soak them. These are actually soaking in some surly bender. Oh my gosh! How um, cool! Look at that but, jar. But uh, they, they 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 soak up all the moisture and the beer and the flavor from that. And then you just let them go low and slow until they turn like that. And then. You've got beer flavored onions. How long do you soak these? You like, can you keep these in your Three fridge? Three hours, but sometimes I soak them for four or five days. They're oh fine. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Look they're at they're that. really like super easy, uh, big score, big win, delicious. Okay. So Gorgeous. we got those. 
Then if you really want to make your grill, your barbecue super extra special, it takes a little extra work, but these are my new favorite peppers. They're Japanese shishito peppers. Shishitos. Where do you get those? And you got to get go to an Asian market. That's why okay. it's not really if you want to show something really special. But people in Minnesota, jalapenos, peppers in general are really sexy on the grill. They develop great flavor. Sexy, sexy. barbecue. Oh. Sexy, We're always sexy going peppers. But a, a lot of people are like, jalapenos, I can't take that heat. You know, it's Minnesota. <laughs> shishitos, they don't have a ton of heat on them. Uh, they're they're mostly they just got a great pepper flavor, uh, and they and and they're, they get just the right amount of heat, just a little touch of heat. Okay, um, Eli, we got to get over to this okay, table to look at some of your here. other so toppings. Okay, let's go over here. So I'm going to grab these okay. I'm talking because too much. He, I mean, he talks sexy barbecue, I'm, I'm and we too can't much. we okay. can't stop him. Okay. So what I did here was I I, I put together some burgers that uh, would go well with these toppings. First, the first one Crack is the Twin open. Cities Live Burger yes, again. Yes, this looks so, incredible. So, that's so we get to try this with, guy with the. Uh, Heirloom tomato. You know on what? It. I'm just digging in. You're pouring. You're go. on the other side. Always be careful with Lucy's. The cheese can be hot. But mm -hmm. uh, this is an ahi tuna burger with um, with some guacamole, some mango salsa, and some pepper du aioli. Wow, yummy! I thought yummy. that would go great with those shishitos. You know, grilling the tomatoes makes them sweet, almost like a ketchup, but just better. And, yeah. And it just, you know, they're so good to start off with. But I, mm. I like to play around with them and, and add Yum. a little bit. Look at this. I know. Would you so, do this? Would so, you eat that? Yeah, but that's actually oh, on our on our menu. That's gorgeous. That one. Okay, what's this last one? And this one? one is a pretzel bun. It's it's our all all beef patty there with some smoked gouda. Yum. We do a lucid beer mustard. You know, local guys are right next door to us, so we make a lucid photo mustard and those beer soaked onions. Oh so you my got like gosh. a craft beer burger right there. This is really, uh, if you're bored yeah. with how you're doing burgers at home, you've got three great ideas here. Yeah, and, this and is awesome. Let me show this too quickly uh, about Golden Nugget. Look at this bacon. That's he the bacon. said, listen. The bacon keeps hanging over when you eat it on a burger, and right? And you never get enough bacon in one bite. Circular. He made them circular to better cover the burger. Is this like a breakthrough in That's bacon exactly technology? That's my baby. Like that right. yeah. I bring those. I have some of those in my pocket everywhere I go. I go Look at this. This is, this is like a picture of my kids. Eli, thank you, thank Eli. you so much. Nice work there. You yeah. can head to Gold Nugget in Minnetonka to try the Twin Cities Live Burger. It's available on the menu until next Friday, which we found out is August 21st. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. You can also make these at home. We have the recipes on our website, TwinCitiesLive.com. Just go there and click on food or download our free recipe app. It is on your smartphone. And for recipe ideas for ground meat and information about beef backers, head to the Minnesota Beef Council's website. We also want to thank the Minnesota Beef Council for sponsoring Twin Cities Live. Well, boy, this sounds good. Tomorrow, a surf and turf burger that is filled with ingredients from the farmer's market. Nice.